Well, you know what's going on <laughs> by the title. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I'm going to jump right into this painting and explain as I go. All right, I've got black, <laughs> black acrylic on the canvas, which is not typical for me. And I'm sure you can guess why I did it. It's to save a little bit of time when it comes to doing this style of what I'm going to do, waterfall. Actually, I'm going to do a very pretty dark, kind of a dark scene, not too bright. Let's just get us a little blue background going on in there. Hey, let's take a look at the paintings that you guys did. I probably won't. Uh, I'll just put them here maybe in the corner of the screen. If you're not sharing the paintings that your version that is of my of my last painting. You can use the information there on the screen. Of course, I'm not doing any edits, any cuts whatsoever here. You're going to see each and every brush stroke. And uh, hopefully you get something out of it. This is not going to be I'm just going to put this straight up <laughs> right out the gate. This is not going to be in any way detailed, nice, wonderful or anything like that. I'm going to try to keep this um, just as quick as I can, you know, does it matter? Like why, why even bother? I haven't done one like this in a long time. It's kind of a challenge. I'm doing it for the sake of the video. I'm making a video out of it. You shouldn't necessarily do anything like this at home. Do your version, take your, you take your time on it and send it to me. I'd love to see it. Yeah, that'll work. What's that right there? I don't know, some sort of water. I know we're gonna have a waterfall right here. So I'm just painting in the mist and everything right there. Okay, set that to the side and let's grab a fan brush. I'm going right into some of my lighter colors. Beautiful. I'm not really, I'm not so much going to rush as, as you laugh at me because I say I'm not going to rush because I'm trying to do it within about 20 minutes. That's my goal. If I can get this painting in in 20 minutes or, you know, 25 tops, that, that sort of, that sort of area. Oh, I'm going to be thrilled. So I've got a black acrylic canvas. I've got just a little, little bit of clear gel over the entire canvas, even my shadows, you know, where my trees and whatnot are going to be. I've even got a little bit there. And I'm going to use color to suggest and contrast to suggest detail because you'll know we have a lack of opportunity for detail. Maybe let's stop right there and let that be something else. Okay, now trees, trees, trees. Maybe a lighter color. I don't really know what we want. I've got more paint than I'm ever going to need because I don't feel like stopping. So, you know, you don't, don't have to put paint down heavy like that. I don't suggest that you do that. Let's just go ahead and tap in some background foliage, bushes and whatnot. I'm just going to let the acrylic today be my be my dark color. OK, let me see here. I'd like to see some almost some like bluish. Like some blue, not muddy, but like bluish purpley background tree shapes like that. That'll work. And again, allowing my dark to be just, you know, the shadow of the trees. Oh, that's nice. Looking at that there in the monitor. That's very nice. That'll be my version of standing back since I'm not going to get any chance to stand back. Just slapping down some color. And you think, okay, come on, how is that going to turn out? Anything other than just an utter disaster? I don't know. I guess you got to wait and see. <laughs> You're looking at me like I know. There. All right, let's get some color. Those look like beautiful bushes. I mean, that that's nice right there. We can live with that. Let's get some more beautiful bushes right on this. Oh, isn't that great? Wow. Love this. This is going to be one of my favorites. Look at that. Oh, good bush. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, you got to have fun. If you don't have fun, what's the point? This is a painting for fun. Put some more color down. Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful. 
hey, if you don't encourage yourself, <laughs> you, might, you might get discouraged and stop something like this. Oh, okay, there. There, there, there. Now, set my palette down just for a moment. I'm gonna take a shot of towel. And I'm going to just blot a lot of this. What am I doing here? Just creating texture and removing paint. I'm gonna work here with all of my, my lights coming across like this today. Oh yeah. Throw that paper towel away and get another one. Then right in through here, I'm just gonna create the feeling of a lot of different things just by mushing. See how I can create textures now? I'm gonna have some paint on my hands by the time I'm finished with this today. Look, because we're using black acrylic, I can come in here and rub and create dark spots again. See that? I just go right back down to the black acrylic or black gesso background. You can use gesso, I don't, but you can. It's all the same stuff if you do the research, really. Beautiful, look at that. Just tapered this up into, into the painting there. Look, I'm doing more with a shop towel than with the brush because I'm kind of working impressionistic today because I have to. Isn't that neat though? Create that kind of lush waterfall look. And moss, see the moss? I can just see it. I don't know if you all can see it, but I can see it. We've got something. I don't know what we've got, but we've certainly got something. Hey, <laughs> that doesn't look quite as bad as I thought it would. All right, let me wipe off my hands. You know, right up in here, I've got a, just some darkness there, yeah. Right around what's gonna be that waterfall. Pull my rocks back in. This is a neat technique, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying this is for everyone. I'm saying this is just kind of fun. All right, let's stop that because we got some we got some trees to paint, trees to paint, tree trunks. Oh, we got one right here. Cool. Yeah, there's not going to be any detail in this painting other than what I can just get in as a kind of impressionistic suggestion of life and form and detail and highlight, but it ain't going to be much <laughs> there. Okay, right here, there, and everywhere. If you want a tree limb, put in a tree. Tree trunk, you know what I mean. Okay, that may be on the other side. Oh yeah, doing good, doing good. That's kind of neat. You know, you could pre-plan pre this or, or kind of just go loose and free and see what happens. I'm somewhere in between. I've got a basic idea, but I don't have a lot of time to, to devote to my basic idea. So it's gonna change here even as I go, but that's kind of pretty the way those are tangled together. I can't see that side as well because of the reflection. There we go. That looks good. I look over in my monitor and I can tell what's going on. Beautiful. So I got that and I want another little one here. But you see why my darks, they sort of help. Rocks here. Rocks here. Rocks are easy when you get the hang of them, but when, before you get the hang of them, they take a little bit of work, you know, take a little practice and finessing. But there, there's some rocks for you. <laughs> All right, now, this, well, yeah, what do we want to do here? Let me get just, uh, we don't have any time to make decisions. I need to just make a decision and move. <laughs> This is exciting. This is a good challenge for me. I don't know if everybody else is going to enjoy doing this, but like I said, do your own version, not in a race. Do your own version just for fun at your own pace. That's what I would do if I were you. It's, I used to do these like once every six months, these little challenges, you know, try to get it done in no time challenges. I haven't done one in years for a good reason, but, um, I appreciate that people enjoy seeing this sort of thing. Nothing else you enjoy kind of seeing me 
you can't tell I'm, I'm, I'm calm on the outside and I'm racing on the inside, I guess. There. No, I'm actually, actually having fun with this. And here's the funny thing. So I set out on this. This is so far, just so you know, just backstory. This is the first time I've ever done this scene. I, you know, and if you're seeing it, great. If you don't see it, you know, I already told myself before I turned the camera on, I said, you know, I'm not going to feel bad if this doesn't work and I have to refilm it. So at the end of the day, I've got 20 minutes devoted into it. And I might be able to paint it again faster uh, the second time, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can, in any kind of painting, sometimes you can just do it faster the second time. So it's entirely possible you won't even see this and you'll just see my next one. And, and if that happens, I will let you know. I'm just going to let you know either way. But of course, if you're listening to me say this now, it worked. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm putting a lot of paint on. Kind of an impressionistic look there to that rock. Get some of these rocks. Just scooping up color, you know. And laying it on thick. It's pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. I see a tree. What are we doing on time? I'm doing okay. I've got, I've got a little bit left. There we go. Yeah, to me that's okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we're not even going there, but it's okay. I'd like to see a little color, yeah, right out on that, to make that into kind of a beautiful little landmass. And you'll notice that I'm really not over mixing my color. I'm keeping it fairly subtle. Oh, that's good. That's good. So I can work my rocks in pretty, pretty seamlessly just with a couple of strokes, kind of bring those rocks in. Okay. Now, if this was, um, if this was done on a white canvas, you know, it would be pretty, it would be pretty challenging to get this kind of effect, this kind of a darker forest waterfall. If you're doing like a mountain, I've done this sort of thing with mountains. You can do that without doing a black canvas. It just depends. The black canvas is really mainly, in my opinion, solely there for speed like and that's only to me the reason anybody would want to do a black canvas is simply for speed and just make it easier i don't necessarily even care about the look of it this to me I, I can paint a painting that looks like it was done on a black canvas it's just a matter of doing contrast that's all it is contrast there beautiful yeah, I can live with this. It's more of that. You know, I don't have a lot of time to piddle around and make this just the way I want, actually. Fan brush, purple. And let's just get a little bit of a, a shadow highlight on this side. You know what I mean? Shadow light on that side. I probably could have highlighted with the fan brush. Probably would have been a little easier. Okay, so wipe that brush off. And take some yellow. Good, I've got like six minutes left, at least to, to my 20 minute mark, and then I might go a little further after that. I just wanna see how much painting I can get done in, in a little bit of time. It's not a lot of time to do a painting. And this is like, I gotta go to work in 20 minutes, I'm gonna do a painting. That's that kind of, I can see somebody doing this at home for that reason maybe, or you know, I got somewhere to go. Yeah, probably not a good idea. I kind of like these like random ferns that I'm going to create here out of this mess. See that and the lights coming across through there. It's pretty. It's about color and contrast over detail today. There is no detail. Now, just because there's no detail doesn't mean there's no shape, form, color and contrast. Now those things we got to have or else you'll just not, you won't have a painting. There we 
we go. You're probably wondering what I'm gonna do over here. Don't worry, it's all carefully planned out. <laughs> there. Oh yeah. I like the fan brush, get, like, that'll get a lot done quick. It's beautiful brush to use. It's a, you know, it'll, it'll do a lot for you in very little time. I like that. What do you think about doing all that with the, um, with a shop towel? I think that was a really good trick to create just variation with very little effort. These are, these are techniques that I'm using that require no effort to speak of. But yet they actually yield a result that's almost passable. Let me get another shop towel. Let me just begin to work in that now just a little. So it's not quite. So I'm looking over the monitor again because that's like looking back six feet away. And I'm just going to bring in a little more of that finger painting here with the, <laughs> with the shop towel. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of neat. This, this side over here needs a little more. Put that away. Do I have uh, yeah, that'll work. Is that? That'll work. Let me just get in here. I was thinking, do I have another brush? I could, I guess I can always use my blender brush and walk over there and get a brush, but I'm not turning off the camera. That counts as part of my time if I have to do that. That's funny. Oops. Of course it would have been. A reasonable idea to get some of my shop towels torn off ahead of time. Oh well. What do you think about color? Should we do some color? I like color. Let's do some like orangey, like some extra things going on in here. Okay. And again, one more shop towel just to blend it in. This is just the same thing you would do like if you were painting a real tree on real painting, you know what I mean? This a real painting, because this isn't a real painting. There. Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful. You know what, that's fine. Let's go ahead and real quick, I just wanna bring in some leaves. Gotta do it with a two inch, unless you wanna do it with a detail brush. I don't have, I don't have that kind of time. Let's just make that like enclosed, this dark, kind of an evening type. Let's get a little more shadow up under here because these trees will be casting some shadows through the forest. See that? Yes. And on this side also get just some tree leaves. Okay. And again, this, to me, I don't like that at all. But I do like, I do like it when I just bring it in with a shop towel. Then to me, it doesn't look so sloppy. I don't like just the tapping quickly with the two inch brush. Now you could do tapping with the two inch brush and then use the detail brush. I do that all the time when I paint, but this paper towel trick might save you. You know, if you're doing a painting that just needs that little, oh, that's, to me, that's pretty. If I had to do this painting again, I think I'd spend less time in the background and do more of this, because I think it actually adds a little something to it. Let's, yeah, go even over these. Okay, blender brush. I've got to use some, the paint that I've got down here and just blend it into my rocks, see this? So it feels like my rocks are kind of part of this canyon down here. There, now that's starting to look like something. Don't know what, but something. That's pretty. That's the best thing you can do right there. Just softness. There's something going on there you can tell, but you just can't tell what exactly it is. Yeah, there we are. We're about to my 20 minute mark, according to my watch. <laughs> I just got a little watch sitting. I probably should have got something digital. It would have been easier to... <laughs> no, I just got a regular watch sitting there. There. Bring those out. Just to add, I've got the 
opportunity just to add that little extra spice to it. I'm gonna do it. Absolutely gonna do it. Hey, I can live with that. Let's see that, some of that's dark. Beautiful, wow. That created some decent layers. Good, 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 okay. Okay, we can live with that. What do you think, should we get? Should we get some foreground? Might as well. Foreground bushes and shrubs and whatnot, just these leaves. That's pretty. Just basic, I've got a lot of paint there on the brush so that when I pull through, see that I'm getting variations, not just all one drab color, several things going on, and that looks nice. Okay. Then on the other side, if I want to pull in, it feels like just some foreground stuff. This sort of stuff is actually done quickly on a good day, you know? This is just not something you spend time on. You just, it's how I do it quick like this because it gives you that irregular pattern so that really that's about all you need. And maybe some of that hanging off. And I, do I have time to do this? Well, I do because it's my video. I can go as long as I want. I do just for the sake of the challenge to try to keep it quick, but I want to add like little vines and stuff growing on the rocks. I just think that could be interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's neat. And maybe over here. Let me tell you what, I had the air conditioner on and it's not a warm day. I wish I would have, I wish I would have turned it on a little, a little cooler. That's so funny. Nothing like painting. Painting feels like exercise today. What's going on? You know, is that really, really rough? Is this something you would want to hang on the wall? Probably not. Is this super fun and actually kind of a good learning lesson? Yeah, it actually is. You know what? We need to get that right as I wrap up here. We need to get this blue and white because I need a little bit of that on. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't live without it. I cannot live without the blue and the white on the backside of my rocks. At this point, you know, when I was doing these challenges eight years ago, 10 years ago, I wouldn't have cared. Now I've like, ah, oh, no, no, I got to have my blue and white on the background. Again, I have clear gel over the whole thing. That's why it's acting so quick. Like the canvas is quick, you know what I mean? It's slippery, it's moving very fast. All the paint that I put down just spreads quickly. Let's get a little, boom, a little highlight on that tree. And then to finish it up, I'm going to wrap it up and just say thank you for watching. Check out my DVDs, my brushes, and uh, give this painting a try. Don't, don't go so fast, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see another challenge like this, let me know. And I can uh, pick another subject. You know, I can't do this with every subject, but I certainly can try different subjects and let you see me run around here as quick as I can. <laughs> hey, real quick. Transition area just between the grass and those little bushy things. All right. Thank you for watching. Check out the, the website, the full length DVDs, which are not anywhere near this quick. And I'll see you in the next one. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you're not already and click the like button. That helps me out a lot. Stick around, watch a couple more videos and stay inspired.